Hey guys, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today I'm going to do another Clash of Clans strategy part 124 uh, for sniping in Clash of Clans. Sniping generally is the idea to go out in trophies by attacking exposed town hall, either using cheap troops like archers, uh, barbarians, uh, or uh, even the heroes. For me, I choose to actually use heroes uh, instead of normal troops. Uh, the reason why is because they can redeploy again if it's not injured uh, again and again without wasting additional resource like elixir to build more troops. Um, for this particular case, I'm using Archer Queen. There are various reasons why uh, Archer Queen is good, but I'll explain it in the later part of this video. First, uh, why you uh, want to snipe and go up in trophies. First reason is you have higher lead bonuses. Lead bonuses, for example, you go up in Crystal League, is higher bonuses every time you win a battle. You get additional bonuses uh, without even uh, you know attacking the resource. You get bonus if you win. Uh, another thing is uh, you get exposed yourself with higher Town Hall level players. Uh, you get, get more percentage of loot if you attack lower tower players they naturally get lower percentage of loot so you this one you have to be aware of so um archer queen i just bought using some gems to buy some dark elixir which you know uh it's definitely worthwhile if you go out in trophies at 1495 trophies is definitely not a very good uh trophy levels for Town Hall 9. So for this particular base, I, I like to let you guys know that uh, this is the first time I tried to snipe and realize there's a Barbarian King and I shouldn't even have uh, attacked this base. So avoid at all costs if you find a, a, a Town Hall that's being protected by any heroes at all. The reason why is because once you attack and your heroes get injured, you need to wait for a, 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 a while for it to recover, for the Barbarian King to recover before you can redeploy again without waiting wasting additional resource like the uh, gems or things like that to recover the, the the heroes but i get five trophies which is awesome once you attack the exposed town hall this particular base you can see that the the town hall is one space away from the wall the archer towers and the cannons are unable to attack the archer queen because the archer queens is much longer range in terms of the crossbow uh it is beneficial even if it's like right uh, the town hall right beside the the walls it is still not in range. For this particular town hall, you can see the tombstone is behind the town hall. It signifies that the, the whatever defensive structures are able to kill is behind the town hall. So you can actually attack safely. Uh, the next thing is uh, for this particular base, it's being protected by mortar towers. So try to avoid at all costs. I, I use the archers to test it out and see what, whether or not it's in range and realize, yep. Uh, the archer towers the mortar can actually attack the range of the archers uh, for this particular case i can use archers to test out if there's any traps at all uh, for this particular case there's a big giant bomb <laughs> uh, but uh, in any event if you test there is some traps you can go ahead and use uh, more troops to get the town hall for this particular case you can see the tombstone uh, definitely signify that is some kind of traps or hidden tester so try to avoid such a base to attack for sniping so best way is avoid at all costs for this i test the archers the archer queen and i get additional trophies for sniping this exposed town hall uh, again this the town hall is right beside the archer tower uh, but I, I try to gamble using the Archer Queen to test it out because this is uh, my first few times and I do realize that the Archer Queen uh, are away, uh, you know, not in range of the Archer Towers even though the Town Hall is right beside the wall. This again, uh, I, I try to attack but first you need to realize is that it's a mortar right at the bottom right side which I didn't see. So always observe the surrounding uh, uh, protection uh, once you started to attack you cannot lose because once you lose you lose a lot of trophies that you have gained over time by sniping uh, other people's town hall uh, for this particular case you can see that the the uh, town hall is exposed as well and i use the archer queen again to attack and manage to get 
are more of the trophies notice that a lot of those exposed town hall uh, players have a lot of resource you must understand why like for the for example this particular uh, case you got almost uh, a 356 gold 356 elixir almost max out resource there are reasons why they have such a resource because of exposing their town hall they get free shield and they can accumulate a, a lot of resource uh, over time through the elixir collector and gold mine uh, if you you know, protect your town hall you get zero shield and you know you 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 get attacked multiple times you might not be able to accumulate such amount of resource so there is always pros and cons in terms of uh, uh, this kind of um, basis for sniping generally is definitely a good way to gain trophies you know you can get more resource by attacking higher town hall players and you can get expose yourself to more loot uh, in the event of going up in trophies in, because of the the league bonuses so this is one way you can snipe and get more trophies and get more loot in the long run as you can see my uh, league bonuses is getting higher you can see this is 356,000 gold again that's a lot of uh, resource in higher trophy levels I've just promoted myself to go one leak and get more bonuses every time I attack so basically this is the idea uh, for sniping in Clash of Clans and, uh, and basically that's it for this video and I really hope you like this video remember to like, comment, share and subscribe thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.